Ash. Ash. Ash? Did you hear a word I've just said? I thought we had a deal. You came here for a fresh start. A clean slate to keep out of trouble. But the rules are simple. If you don't cooperate, you've got to go. Ash, I don't know what's going on up there, but you're not doing yourself any favours. Who are you fighting? Hmm? You want to get listed as a youth offender? That means a record. Look, I'm going to give you one more chance. You've got to choose between one of these programmes. You can either help out the elderly people's home, just off Ayers Road in Old Trafford, or boxing in Salford. One week boot camp. Could help you work some stuff out. Could train to become the next Amir Khan. Well, look, you have to make a decision, otherwise... You know where it goes from here, don't you? Nowhere. Take the piss, man. Seriously, though, they chat so much crap. They tell you they want to help you, and then they send you to go and clean old people's piss or go soft and get your head kicked in. Screw the system, man. It ain't worth it. it ain't gonna change how they see you. You're branded either way. What? Ash, did you choose one? <laughs> Make me laugh. Honestly, yeah. It's just another tick for them state workers to get paid. Do you get me? And no disrespect, yeah. I know you mix race, but they're just gonna see you as a packy. You know as well as I do, yes. Yeah. Hoffman's full of racists. BMP fascists, man. Nah. Mm. Too many bad things happening there, man. It's not surprising why the riots kicked off. Do you get me? And I won't bother. Because he's just going to see you as a token brownie. So Ash, 
Ashkan. Ashkan from the referral centre. Come with me. Okay. Have you ever boxed before? No? Well, you're in Frank Morris's group for the rest of the week. What? That guy? Yeah, that's Frank Morris. Take a seat. Frank will sort you out. Now you do realise you're in a boxing club, not a youth support centre. The bottom line here is we tolerate absolutely no shit. I want absolutely no girly tantrums, no nicking, no dealing, anything of that sort and I'll be back onto the social quicker than you know it. Is that understood? Right, come on, let's get you kitted up. up. Anyway, when we're in the gym, we leave all our troubles outside. When we're working drills, we'll be doing a lot of work on them legs. Every time you hear the bell, I want you to move on. Okay? Danny Randall, British pro boxing champion. He defended his title four times. I took Danny under my wing when he was a kid. I knew he'd go all the way. Now can you tell me, what is it that Danny does to win his fights? You know, punch his head in. Punch his head in? No, I mean tactically. It's not about violence, you know. You've been watching too many Rocky films, you know. You never see fighters like Muhammad Ali, yeah. Sugar Ray Leonard, Roy Jones Jr. Them guys float like butterflies. And all the power comes from the feet. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense because you don't punch with your feet. No, 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 it's the appliance of science. It comes from the toes, up your legs, through your torso, out your shoulders, and out of these. It's a bit like a bullfight. And you've got to be constantly moving. Constantly mobile. With your feet well set, well balanced. So you can attack most importantly, defend at all times. Because if you don't, well, that ball's gonna guard you. Danny's nearly there now, Frank. Only a couple more pounds to go. A couple more pounds? Mm. Fight's coming up soon. So you can get him out on the road a bit more this week. Yeah, sure. I tell you who's impressed me, that girl Ash, I think she's got real talent. <laughs> yeah, sure. You don't seem sure. How does a girl like her end up on a referral scheme? You've got to remember, she didn't come through the door for her own accord, she got sent in. Most of them do. 
She made it to the end of the first day, and that's more than most of them do. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't lie easy with me. I've been here for ages. You know the score with the black kids and the white kids. But these Pakistani families have all switched, you know. Them sharp fist of hers must have got into some serious trouble. Silly, really. like this because I'll tell you what it's the first for this club because no one listens people make assumptions about the way you look before you speak I was in the wrong place but the right position to look bad this girl looked helpless she looked how I feel most of the time people of my background as you say most of them would have walked past not bat an eyelid but why should it matter where you come from? Especially when someone's in trouble. I gave her a look. Next minute I know they're looking at me. Hurling all sorts. Calling me a packy. Not knowing my mum's white. One of them really got in my face. Hey, what do you mean fucking get off your rubber? Fucking get off your Asian fucking bitch! I just flinched. And there were all these people staring at me. They made up their minds. You nearly hit me then. Well, yeah, I did it. So, you're going to take this boxing a bit more serious or what? I don't know. Where about your family again? Well, I live in Old Trafford and my mum's white, my dad's Pakistani. My granddad's Indian, you know. What? No way. Yeah. So when are you next fighting? Uh, three weeks. I might see you around then. Right. All right, you take care. See you later. Well, you passed the programme. I'm glad you stuck it out. I suppose this is goodbye. You stay out of trouble, yeah? 